In this lesson, we'll show you how to share pages with individuals, groups, and the World Wide Web. We'll demonstrate this by sharing a one-on-one -on -one notes doc with a manager. Once you've created all your content, you're probably going to want to share it with others. As you may have noticed, pages are organized on the sidebar into three sections, team spaces, shared, and private. These are where all of your pages will be housed. Depending on your current workspace architecture, you may see just one or all of these sections. Generally speaking, we encourage people to keep their sidebar minimal. You should only join the team spaces that are relevant to you and try to nest pages inside other pages as much as you can to keep related information together. We'll get more into team spaces in the next video. As you can see, there are only about 10 pages in my sidebar, but those don't represent every single page in my workspace. Other pages are nested inside of these, like so. In Notion, you can nest pages inside pages infinitely. For these more hidden nested pages that you want to be able to access easily, think a project plan you're actively working on, you can pin favorites to create a fourth section at the top. The best practice is to be selective with favorites, favorite pages you use frequently, or favorite relevant project pages, and unfavorite them when the project wraps. If you're working in a workspace alone, you would just see one section and maybe favorites, since shared and private won't mean anything different to you. Workspace owners and membership admins can add members in settings here. You might not see this panel if you're just a workspace member. We'll get more into these role types later on, but keep in mind that members can join team spaces and access general workspace content. Usually, every team member is added to a Notion workspace as a member. In these cases, those workspace admin roles, along with their special privileges, are reserved for people managers or IT admins. Let's go ahead and learn how page sharing works and talk about some best practices when it comes to sharing. Starting with, when should you share with one person? When you share a doc with just one person, it will populate in the shared section of both of your sidebars. This is useful for brainstorms, private meetings, HR discussions, or generally speaking, anything you wouldn't be comfortable with your whole team seeing. To share with one person, use the Share tab. Add an email, choose an access level, optionally add a note, and click Invite. Similarly, when should you share with your team? Anything that you create in or move into the general team space section can be accessed by all workspace members. Pages in other team spaces are shared to those corresponding team space members. These sections are useful for promoting transparency and keeping everyone on the same page. Examples of things we commonly see in team spaces are meeting notes, documentation, project management, roadmaps, etc. Generally speaking, we suggest you default to creating pages in a relevant team space, unless there's a reason not to do so. Finally, when should you share with the public? We see a lot of people create public Notion pages to function as makeshift websites. Things like startup job postings, resources for new employees, or even landing pages for special promotions can all be shared with Notion's public pages. When you share something with the public, you'll need to toggle Share to Web on. And there are more granular permission levels that you can set here, like search engine indexing and editing access based on your use case. For websites, You'll want to turn search engine indexing on and likely turn everything else off. You may also want to lock the page, which will prevent any accidental edits. Later on, we'll talk more about how admins can structure team spaces and change settings to prevent accidental sharing. But for now, let's think through a more common Notion use case, one-on-one -on -one notes. For any regularly scheduled meeting, it can be helpful to keep a log of discussion topics and action items. This helps keep both parties organized and gives you space to put random thoughts throughout the week to maximize time together. One-on-ones are also a good time for managers and direct reports to talk about personal or sensitive information, which is why they make a great case to learn about sharing. We probably wouldn't want to create a one-on-one -on -one notes log inside of a public area due to the nature of the content. For obvious reasons, it can't be private, so it needs to land in the shared section. To share a page with just a subset of your organization, you'll want to first create it as a private page. I'm going to pull in Notion's quick one-on-one -on -one meeting notes template here, just so we have something to work with, 
and populate it with some sample meetings. For this, we can call it Monica and Elia one-on-one. -on -one. Once it's created, I can use the Share button to give Monica access to everything here. Then, both of us can add pages for weekly one-on-ones. If at any point a discussion from the one-on-one -on -one needed to be shared or escalated to another team member, myself or Monica could share just a single meeting's worth of notes, and it would show up in the shared section of the third party's sidebar. That's it for now. 